Detective Nolan, we got a body in the station toilet. The man died horribly. Bulging eyes, bloodshot face. His partner reminded him to put on gloves and look for identification. And the policewoman reported to headquarters. But the person who came in wasn't a member of Homicide. It was someone else. That's Homeland Security case officers Jessica. When she met the officers, she asked them questions directly. Is that all that you touched? Yes. Why? You're freaking me out. Biological attack on the city of Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm sure. At this time, the body was examined by medical staff and no signs of infection were found. But what happened? At the police station, Jessica said the victim was a member of a terrorist organization. It is understood that they were going to carry out a bioterrorist attack in Los Santo, and he was traveling with two accomplices on a bus. Most likely, the victim was scared and tried to escape. He was killed by his accomplices. But soon, there will be a terrorist attack. And then the woman next to it popularized the variety and symptoms of the virus. And probably the content is that the infected person will bleed to death. The virus is translated to contact with bodily fluids. And once infected, there's a 99% chance of death. Even with vaccination, the survival rate is 66%. The bad news is there's only an experimental vaccine. We're flying ahead from Atlanta, but there's only a few hundred doses. Nowhere near enough to combat an outbreak. Faced with the virus, the woman said something that alarmed the police. Then, Sheriff Lowry begins to assign a task, except to capture the terrorists. This matter cannot be disclosed to the public, but police officers can't give priority to families. Then everyone started to call their families. Bradford and Lucy found the passenger on the same bus as the perp. The man also provided a surprise when he said his handbag had been taken by mistake. Bradford asks, did you check what was in the bag? The man said that in addition to the needle is the medicine bottle or something, and accidentally cut his hand when he went through the bag. When Bradford saw what was happening, he told Lucy to stay outside. However, the man suddenly sprayed Bradford with a mouthful of blood. Lucy walks in, but Bradford shuts her door. Bradford began to undress while questioning the man about his itinerary. Lucy alerted the centers for disease control and let him out, and Bradford said no, but he was worried. Paramedics soon arrived, quarantined the room and questioned Bradford about the man. But not so good. Then he asks Bradford to check the contents of the bag, and from the camera on Bradford's chest, what looks like a watering can in the bag is definitely a virus release device. The man suddenly attacked the policeman from behind. When Bradford woke up, he was shocked by the pool of blood in front of him. Now the man is unconscious, trying to get away, but Bradford stunned her with a stun gun, and then holds her up against the bed. At the police station, Nolan found information about the suspect in the vehicle, and the police began an arrest. Nolan stopped each other in his car, then both sides got out of the car and a heated gun battle began, and Nolan shot one person. The two men then began to run away, but separated when they reached the path. Nolan and Jessica find blood on a guardrail, and eventually find the fugitive in a warehouse. But no matter how much Jessica negotiates, the men don't talk. Nolan's words convince him to surrender. The man raised his hands and surrender, but Jessica shot him dead. Nolan was wondering, too. Another fugitive hijacked a bus and was about to release the virus when he was shot dead by a policewoman. Bradford is also successfully waiting for a vaccine to reach the clinical trial stage. After spending the night in isolation, Bradford walked out safely and his colleagues made fun of him, but he stopped before he could walk a few steps, gradually fading into a trance, and then fell heavily to the ground. Will Bradford recover safely? Will the virus have been released? And will the terrorist organization stop?